Hey, welcome to my channel, Cooking with Manual Focus. And today, hey, we're gonna be making that honey mental Chick fil A copycat sandwich. Hey, I got you in the game. I'm not gonna bore you with a long intro, so let's go down to that workstation and get this on your table. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spare you the prep work of this. I got three chicken breasts pretty much butterfly so what that gives you is a nice filet hey chick-fil-a right nice filet and then you get six sandwiches out of three chicken breasts right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna tenderize this meat we're gonna use some pickle juice it's gonna make this chicken breast you know nice and tender then we're gonna add some milk and that's gonna act as a binder so when we bring it out and we coat it in that flour and then we put it in that oil it's gonna be absolutely delicious fam so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get it in that marinade all right fam so what i'm using is about a cup and a quarter of pickle juice and then i'm gonna go ahead and put my fillets in this container and then i'm gonna add my milk because i want to see you know just about how much milk that i want to use so i can you know get these baptized enough so everything is covered and coated right and then we're gonna be in the game fam what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come back with a cup of whole milk and this is gonna completely submerge this chicken and then we're gonna get you know everything mixed in and then there we have it so what we want to do is we want to marinate this for about 45 minutes not going to keep it in there too long but 45 minutes this is going to be perfect we're going to bring it back out bread it up and then put it in that fryer all right fam so this pimento recipe is absolutely simple so we got four ounces of pimentos right we got a cup of mayo then we're going to hit it with four ounces of softened cream cheese you don't want nothing hard right because you need to be able to work with it and then we got that eight ounces of cheddar cheese now i grated this and this is why i love grating cheese right so when you get down to that little last piece right there hey you already know man i gotta take me a bite of that that's the joy right there in grating your own cheese man you get that little treasure right there now we're gonna take these pimentos and we're gonna dice these down just a little bit more get them a little finer than what they are So when you dice it right, just remember, the smaller you go, that's when you get the bursts of flavor. Now, if you want it a little bit bigger, again, again, that's more like for your garnishment, but you want a nice little burst of flavor for that pimento cheese, right? Now, we got everything diced to our liking. We'll just add that to our cheese, right? And by the way, I'm using sharp cheddar, extra sharp cheddar cheese, by the way, because I like sharp cheddar cheese and then matter of fact we're gonna finish getting this bad boy ready now fam like i said this is a fairly simple recipe but absolutely delicious and you want a high-end mayo and i'm going in with dukes because you already know man i'm from the south and i gotta represent man but hey hit me in the comments tell me what mayo that you like and then we're going in with that softened cream cheese and then after that fam, we just get everything combined and we in the game. And if you like your pimento cheese a little bit more on the creamier side, you can add a little bit more mayo if you like, but I think this is gonna be perfect. But again, it's all on preference, fam, so do what you like. Hey, this your kitchen, this your show, and this your palate, right? So you gotta do what you like, fam. But after we get everything mixed in, I think this is going to be the perfect amount of cream cheese and mayo. And then lastly, fam, what you want to do, hey, you want to salt and pepper to taste. Going in with some crushed black pepper. And then I'm going to hit it with a little bit of that salt. And then get everything mixed again. And fam, this is where it's critical. Again, you know, when we talk about cooking, you always got to taste as you go. So you know exactly where you land them. Right? So fam, we're going to get us a little taste, see where we are. So we don't double dip, right? Hey, that's good. Now I'm going to add a little bit more black pepper. The salt is good. 
So just a couple of turns of salt. And I'm not like a big salt guy, because I always watch my salt levels, right? But a little bit more black pepper, A would do it. Now, that right there, fam, it's gonna be some absolutely delicious pimento. Fam, so this chicken is marinated, right? It's ready to go. Now the ingredients will be in the description box below the specifics, right? So we're going in with some flour, got some cornstarch, got some powdered sugar, got some Cajun seasoning, got pepper, got some salt, got some garlic powder, and then I'm rolling with a little bit of that smoked paprika. Once we got everything combined, then we're gonna take our chicken out, let the excess drain, and then we're gonna bring it over to our flour. Give it a nice little coat the first time. Then we're gonna get everything pressed in. So that flour and that cornstarch can really hit that chicken. We're gonna do the other side, same thing. Get some of it on there, press it down. And then we're gonna set this on our cooling rack while we get the other ones prepared. That's off the excess like that. Hey, we in the game, fam. All right, fam, we ready to go. We sitting at about 350. Now, this is the beauty about having a deep fryer, and you just set that bad boy where you want it, and it tells you when it's ready. We got these chicken breasts, and we're gonna drop them like so. And we're gonna let these bad boys get nice and golden brown. Fam, when they ready to go, Hey, they're gonna come out looking nice, deep golden brown. And we got a couple batches to go, so we're gonna set these off to the side. But I want you to look at this right here. Yes, sir. Nice and golden brown. That's what you want right there. Hey, that looks absolutely fantastic. Now we're gonna set that on that cooling rack, a clean cooling rack, so it doesn't get soggy. And fam, we in the game. Hey, we got these jalapenos right here. And we're going to line the sandwich with a bunch of jalapenos. Now, that's a toasted bun right there. Hey, don't forget to toast your buns. And again, this is your kitchen, man. You can put however many jalapenos you want on that bad boy. This is your show. So, we going in with a good amount. So, now I'm going to come grab this nice little chicken breast right there. Set that to the side like that right there. And then we gotta hit it with some of that pimento cheese, fam. So we're gonna get us a nice little dose of that pimento. Like so. Give me a little bit more. Cause I'm gonna tell you that pimento is absolutely fantastic. That pimento cheese, fam. And then after that, hey, we're gonna drizzle some honey on top. Like that right there. Oh yes, sir. Hey, we're in the game. And then we gotta put that top hat on there. Hey, like so. Now, there you have it. You got your absolutely delicious honey pimento copycat Chick-fil-A sandwich. Now I know you guys say y'all like the classic recipes, right? So we're gonna go, you know what I'm saying, classic style. Got those dill pickles. And again, this because this show show your kitchen. Hey, you can go with however many dill pickles you want, right? So I'm gonna pile these bad boys up because I like my pickles. Hey, just like that. So we're gonna take this bad boy. Look at that. And then sit it with that little top hat. And then fam. Hey, you got your absolutely delicious original. Chick-fil-A sandwich, and then you got that honey pimento Chick-fil-A sandwich right there. Hey fam, you in the game. All right fam, look at that right there. There you have it. You got your absolutely delicious honey pimento Chick-fil-A copycat sandwich right there. And fam, you already know what we gotta do. Hey, we gotta get this bad boy taste this. And hey, cheers. Now that right there, hey, that's right on the money. 
and that's real good. <laughs> now, that right there tastes like I just got that out of the Chick-fil-A restaurant right there. That is really delicious, fam. Hey, fam, I'm gonna tell you, that's about the closest you're gonna get to the real thing right there. And I'm gonna tell you, it's probably even better because you make it at home and it's a little bit cheaper. Hey, you in the game. Now, if you're new to this channel and you like this content, hey, go ahead and hit that like button and then smash that subscribe button so you know when I release my content. Now, for the focus fam that's been rolling me for a while, you already know what I gotta do. Hey, I gotta smash into this honey pimento Chick fil A copycat sandwich and I'll see you guys on the next recipe. Peace.